Hey, I'm Nick Frederking, Agrigold agronomist here in Southern Illinois, and uh, got a call about some down corn up here near Vandalia area. Um, really across Southern Illinois, we've been getting some reports that some corn's been going down, and that's never a fun call, but it is interesting to diagnose those problems and try to evaluate so we can offer some advice to that grower uh, in the season. So when we got out to this field, you can clearly see as we pan through, we've got a lot of corn that's, that's laying down, uh, maybe it looks like it's kind of goosenecked, but there's good news there because the plants are still green. This has happened a significant time ago, uh, but plants being green means that we haven't snapped from the crown of those roots up to the plant. So there's still some ear development happening, even though it doesn't look pretty. Um, but what we found is pretty interesting. It's something we've been talking about all season long. It's been restricted root growth through compaction. We've talked about sidewall compaction this year, planting in too heavy conditions. But today what I've identified is some hard pan compaction, probably from some tillage that happened in uh, marginal to you know maybe too wet of conditions this year. So as you pan through here, you're gonna notice that everything's laying flat, but the one distinct observation I want you to make is that these plants are literally pulled out of the ground because they didn't have that deep anchored root system down in the soil. Now, why is that? If I take this shovel, I can't go more than four inches, right? I hit that hard wall with that shovel. So when I did finally get a root dug up, I'm gonna show you this plant. This is picture perfect textbook hard pan compaction. You may notice that it's a pretty robust root system, but where does it stop going down? Somewhere in that three to four inch mark. So somewhere here, tillage was done. We created that hard pan compaction. We're right off the headland, which makes a lot of sense because we have a lot of traffic, a lot of weight hitting this area over and over again. So without that anchor, this plant literally couldn't hold itself up when that high wind came. We got some top end weight here. Ears were made really nice. We just didn't have that anchor to hold ourselves up. So if you were to go out in your field and start to notice that you've got some hard pan, maybe some sidewall compaction, there's some other symptoms we may be uh, taking notes of this year. You see nutrient deficiencies, some nitrogen firing up the bottom of the plant, potassium deficiencies. Um, that literally could be attributed to lack of rooting area in the soil. Um, something else we might see is uh, some stalk cannibalization. If, uh, if we don't have that rooting mass deep, we may see some exaggerated drought stress, some tip back on some ears. You may see some stalks starting to give up early. This offers a lot of opportunity to prioritize harvest in these fields if we should start to see some of these symptoms. So if you have any questions about whether you're seeing uh, you know, any compaction layers in your field, how you need to manage them, or you want to talk through them with your local DSM, you know, feel free to reach out to them or myself, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.